Today on Curry Explained, I'm going to show you how to cut a cut to fit axle shaft. Hi, I'm John Henson for Curry Enterprises, and today I wanted to go over our cut to fit axles and show you what comes in the box and how to measure and how to cut a cut to fit axle shaft. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this one unboxed. Now this is gonna be a 31 spline cut to fit axle shaft. They are available in 28 and 35 spline as well. They come with a standard retainer plate. They come with two choices of wheel studs, one that's gonna be half inch and one that's gonna be 7 16 depending on which one might fit your application and of course the axle shaft itself. Your cut to fit axle shaft in a big bearing is gonna show up with the bearing pressed on the axle shaft. It's gonna be installed and ready to go moving forward. That way you don't have to mess around with the bearing at all. It's gonna be in the right location. Uh, you'll have to press in your wheel studs into the bolt pattern that's correct that you wanna use they do ship with two different bolt patterns in the flange, uh, one that's gonna be five on four and a half, the other that's gonna be five on four and three quarter, depending if you've got a Ford or Chevy car pattern. The diameter of the flange is gonna be 6.25. That's gonna fit almost all of the brake kits that are on the market today. And then the register diameter is gonna be 2.800 in diameter. The retainer plates are now going to show up loose and they are our new style retainer plates that are horseshoe in shape. So bearings pressed on, you don't have to waste a bearing. You slide this over and you can use it to retain the axle shaft. Now, to measure the axle shaft, if you bought a 26 or a 29 or a 32, you would measure the total length on the axle shaft starting from the axle flange face and go all the way out to the end of the spline. Now you'll notice that on our cut to fit axle shafts, the splines ship with four inches of, of usable spline here. That will give you a three inch range to cut off. The axle actually engages the center section by an inch. So you'll be, need to leave at least an inch on the axle shaft if you're gonna cut these down. So you've got four inches of spline and you can cut that down all the way to three inches depending on your application. Now, if you have a question in regards to how long your axle shaft needs to be, we have a calculator on our website so that you can type in all of your information on your housing and calculate for the axle shaft and length. To cut the axle shaft, we recommend a coleslaw. Uh, we have one to set up and I'm gonna go ahead and move this over there. We're gonna cut it and show you how that's done. All right, so we've got a standard cutoff wheel here that you can possibly purchase from anywhere hardware store. Uh, the cutoff wheel that we're using is also readily available on the market. Ours happens to be a 14 inch cutoff wheel. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put in the description down below uh, what cutoff wheel we're using here. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I always recommend wear protective gear, goggles, gloves, just to make sure that you guys are being safe. And we want to, when we're taking our axle shaft, we definitely want it to, one, sit flush on the table, right? We don't want it, our cut to be at an angle at all. So we definitely want it to sit flush and we want it equipped with a vise so that we can tighten it down. And once we get it sitting flush and we can tighten this down, we wanna measure for how, we're, how much we wanna trim off of the axle shaft. Now, uh, basically what we're trying to do is say if we wanna take off uh, we want to cut this to say 25 inches, then we're going to measure from the face of the flange to the actual blade, right? Because that's going to be how much of an axle shaft we're going to leave here. So from the inside of the blade to the flange, and if we want this to be 25 inches, then it should be 25 inches to the inside portion of the blade when it comes down. You can also pull this down so that you get an accurate measurement on where it's gonna hit the axle shaft and make sure that your measurement is correct. All right, so we've got this measured up exactly where we want it to be. Axle shaft is sitting flush. We've got our safety gear on. 
double check to make sure this is tight and ready to go. And then we're gonna come down, we're gonna start cutting away at the axle shaft, and you wanna watch how well you're actually cutting. If you're pushing too hard and you're, you're gonna wear out the motor on the, uh, on the cutting wheel, you'll hear it, and you can see how well it's moving through the axle shaft. So you wanna be aware at how well you're cutting to kinda know how much to give it, but you'll, you'll get the hang of it after you do a few. Here we go. So now that we've cut it, it's gonna be super hot. So don't put your hands in there and start messing with it unless you check it. Back on the end of the shaft here, obviously it's gonna be a lot cooler than at the tip here. You'll notice that at the tip of the axle now, it's going to not have a chamfer on it. It's not necessary to have the chamfer on it, although it is a little bit easier when you're doing the install into a third member. So if you wanted to put a chamfer on it, you could use a sanding wheel or a, uh, or a bench a grinder and actually, chamfer that end. You definitely want to clean up any burrs that are going to be on the edge just like here. So what we could do is we could use the sanding wheel and actually just put it on the sanding wheel and take off the burrs. And then we left one inch of spline here so that's going to be enough for engagement into our third member. So once we've done that we're ready to do uh, to check our measurement and install the axle shaft. If you have any questions in regards to how to cut an axle shaft or what measurement you need to cut uh, or what tools to use, please feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or leave a comment below. If you like this video, subscribe here. For more Curry Tech videos, click right here. And for other Curry content, click right here. Thanks for watching, guys.